Okay. Um, I think, you know, it's amazing. I'm just very proud of us. I think we deserved it. Uh, just playing our best basketball right now. I think, you know, we got a lot more left in the take, but I think, like, well-deserved for us. Uh, the team, the team put me in situations to score. You know, the confidence. Um, whatever I got to do for us to win, I'm willing to do. And sometimes that's me putting the ball in the hole. But just the team and the coaches putting that confidence in me and just allowing me to, you know, play like that, play loose and play free, be able to miss shots and be able to think like, okay, the next one's gonna go in. Sarah, Hannah, Sarah hit not just two extra points, but she had some clutch shots against Oklahoma. A lot of points in the fourth quarter against Kansas. What does that do for you? You all are involved, but when you've got that one player that you kind of know has the hot hand in a close game. Um, the energy. She gives us energy. When she hits those shots, it gets us going. And then, like she said, we're encouraging her. Like, shoot it. Okay, you missed that one next shot. So just when she gets it going, we get that energy, and we just continue from that. You were a newcomer to the league this week as well in terms mm -hmm. of that. Uh, so did you tie Bella now? Are you guys tied for the team lead in that? It seems like you guys went – Kind of trade it off. Honestly, I'm not even sure, but yeah, we are, we do go yeah. back if we are Bella. Me. I know she mentioned, yeah, she'll give you one one week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for, you, for you guys to both have this so much success year one, what's that? What's the cause of that? I mean, we work for it. Um, honestly, I feel like it's no surprise. It's just bringing it to a bigger stage. I know back in high school, she she was doing her stuff, and I was doing mine, but just. Coming to college and reciprocating that same energy now um, and just keeping it going. Sarah, is it cool to get the individual recognition player of the week in, in such a top to bottom town? Uh, yeah, it's cool, but I'm going to be honest with you. The thing I'm most proud of is team of the week. Like, that's the biggest thing for me right now. Like, yeah, national player is cool, but I think, like, what's blowing my mind is honestly team of the week. Like, that's all I care about right now. For you guys. I think the difference is, like, we didn't forget what happened last year. We played with that chip on our shoulder, you know. Going into a lot of games this year, we are the underdog. So, we got, we're able to play a little more loose. But I think winning both of those games on the road was a huge win for us. Uh, Oklahoma State, you know, they got pretty much everybody can shoot the ball. They got some good, crafty guards. Um, we're going to have to play the perimeter very well, be able to get back in transition, um, rebound two on the perimeter as the guards. Uh, they're a pretty good team coming off of a big win for them. So, you know, they're hungry. They're one and two. They're hungry. Uh, you know, I think I learned from them. I'm learning, like, I'm learning, like, hey, sometimes you got to turn into Batman. But I think a lot of it comes down to, like, the plays we make that leads up to it. Like, Jaden getting a steal or Jamie getting a steal, Jamie hitting a shot. Like, everybody's doing something different that I'm like, okay, like, let me help out. How can I contribute? But you got to guard everybody on our team. Like, you can't just focus on me. Bugs killed against Kansas. Like, we got so many people that can go off on any given night. You got to pick your poison. <laughs> um, honestly, you know, like, it's a go-to move. Like, I I shoot better off the bounce sometimes. Like, I'm like a rhythm shooter, but, you know, like, it was just one of them games where I was like, hey, you're feeling it, shoot it, and it came off good. Dariana, you had the double-double against Kansas. You're really one of your best all-around games. What, what was it that helped you elevate your play? It seemed like almost like a more, just a more aggressive, confident version of yourself. Um, I know I've been struggling for a minute, but I think like my team and I got with my coach and talked about some stuff, but they just really uplift me. I know when I scored or I did something good, they, they let me know that. And I think um, that was a breath of fresh air for me because I'm hard on myself, but just them, hey, keep it up. Good job. We see you. We see you. Even just the little stuff, some stuff you might not even really, oh, you know, okay, that's cool. But like the little stuff, they just encourage me. Um, and then also them keeping their poise helped me too because um, they weren't riled up or anything. So that made me like, okay, I have enough confidence. Like, I'm good. I don't need to be riled up. And that just helped me play freely. It's not like you, uh, the team as a whole, played this really, 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 played, uh, really well in the fourth quarter against TCU, best quarter of that game, and then really well against OU and Kansas. Did something click, or was there something like as a team that you kind of everyone's like, okay, so this is for those who haven't been there, this is what the Big 12's all about? Yeah, um, I think just staying together. 
we just we just stay together. We pick our heads up, somebody's heads down. We, we're just staying together. Um, we know what we have to accomplish, and um, we're you know we're here. Um, and even with the newcomers, it's it's even better because it's like as freshmen too. Um, we haven't been in those situations at a high level, so just them having our back and encouraging us and keeping us going, and us staying together and continuing to step on the gas. Um, I think it's really important. I know it sucks. It sucks a lot, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go through a lot more this this season. But um, I feel like it's needed to to show you and and help you grow. Um, because I mean, if you don't have those tough times now, in the future when tough times come, how are you gonna get through it? So I think um, having those struggles uh, really shows you where you need like to grow at. I wouldn't I wouldn't say like it's just bad, but it, it, and it's hard. But I just think it's a big like. You get to grow from this, and then you take that. A lot of times people take it and transfer it to the next, so um, I think that's a great thing. Was there someone you leaned on during that? Because obviously it's something that maybe is a little bit new to you after having so much success in high school. Honestly, my, my teammates. Like, I know I've been hard, but if I were to put my head down or miss a shot, like, they were always there to be like, you got it. Or if I'm not looking for my shot or anything, they're like, hey, like, that's your shot, shoot it, we believe in you. And they never once said, like, okay, don't shoot that. Like, they're like, shoot that, that's your shot. Don't hesitate, so. Sarah, how much is defense a part of this team's identity, particularly after really holding Oklahoma and Kansas below their averages? Well, I think defense is huge for us. I think that's what gets us going. Like, that's what we get our offense in. We, when we're doing good on defense, like, our offense comes easy, you know. It's not always about outscoring the opponent a lot. It's about getting stops and getting to the rounds sometimes. Like, it's about – Playing to your strengths, and I think our strengths are playing defense. You mentioned getting to the rim, Coach. Nick, you talked after the game about getting downhill a lot. How much of effort does that take sometimes in a game to make sure, hey, we got to play downhill and, and then execute it? I think you know I've gotten better over that at time. I think like a lot of it, I was shooting a step back three or the mid range, but like when you get downhill, people got to rotate. They got to do this. I think, you know, playing downhill is something we're great at. That's when we're at our best because we're putting people in rotation. And now you got to pick and choose. If you want to slide over and help and we got to shoot on the outside or we got Bugs or Cato on the block, we got so many options when we play downhill and we make the defense move. Um, I think it's very important. I think, you know, like I said, getting national team of the week is great, but we're not done yet. We still got so much more to prove. I don't even think we've hit our peak yet. Like, it's about moving on. Like, you know, we pat ourselves on the back. We take it, and we. but it's time to move on. We got an OSU on Wednesday. Like I said, coming off a huge win for them, we got to prepare for them and be ready to play. I think, you know, everybody looks at it as a loss. I mean, it is a loss at the end of the day, but I think it's about how do you respond? How do you grow? How do we learn from what happened to us and how do we apply it next? Because there, we're going to be down sometimes by 10, but it's about what can we do to go on runs? Are we going to stay together? Are we going to break down? I think it's about, you know, we responded. We grew as a team. That made us grow closer together, and that's when we got to lean on each other the most. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think we're a team that um, played a tough non-conference schedule. You know, I mean, when you look at um, that last column, even in the standings of the number of games that we've played against top 25 teams um, versus a lot of teams in our conference, we've played the most. Um, certainly, um, we're going to continue to face ranked teams. There's, you know, I, I think Texas is good enough to be in the polls and, and may eventually get in there, but. Um, you know, I, th I think we've we've come up short in a lot of those matchups, and I think getting over the hump at OU um, and having to do it, you know, in, in foul trouble and and you know, kind of grinding, especially the second half. Um, you know, it's hard to win on the road, and you know, to go back to back and two great environments. Both teams had great crowds. Probably Kansas' is the best crowd in a really long time. Um, you know, and, and to really lead that Kansas game almost tipped to finish, you know, just, just really proud. Um, 
of, of going and, and getting them. I mean, they didn't give them to us. You know, neither game was handed to us. We had, we had to go kind of seize the opportunity, and I think we did. Um, you know, honestly, I wish I wish I could say that. Um, I'm always nervous. You know, like I don't think we've reached the point where you just, with this team, know what are we gonna get. Um, you know, I certainly didn't know we were gonna get 17 and 13 from Bugs. So you know, you just um, and, and and Kansas and Oklahoma are two very different teams stylistically, um, and so. You know, it's about you know going up there and, and look like, looking like we're the more prepared team, um, wanting to guard their stuff well, um, wanting to get, you know, Jackson and ball screens. You know, I think, I thought Kansas was our best execution game on both sides of the a ball, especially in the second half. I thought we executed our stuff at a really high level, um, and and part of that execution was executing it with pace. Um, there's there's 94 feet pace and then there's like sideline to sideline pace and I felt like our sideline to sideline pace and actions was really good um, you know so I liked how aggressive we were you know Brandon after the game you know complimented me and said you know we were just the aggressor we were the more aggressive team um, at both ends and and you know so I, I thought we went up and we played like underdogs but we we competed like we belonged and and we certainly do um, but I think you have to you have to seize those moments when you get them. Talking about bugs in terms of what does it say about a freshman who responds to a game like Arizona where you can't play more than five or six minutes because she gets out tough on the floor to now the performance she's put up. Yeah, I mean it it helped us. You know, honestly, we were worried about. Um, I'm going to butcher Hostilionti's name, but we were really worried about her at the four. Um, posting us up. Um, Prather was a better matchup for her, you know, uh, kind of like more of a guard um, st stretching. So that um, that was good in some ways for us. Um, but I thought right away the fact that they, they chose to match Jackson up on her um, at our offensive end um, was because they wanted to allow Jackson to float and block shots and – and, um, you know, so, so Bugs getting a couple early baskets and her up and under where she really, you know, kind of bested one of the best shot blockers in the country, um, got her going. And then jump shots, and then we, we started to run actions to her. And so we asked her to do a lot because of that matchup. We wanted, we wanted Jackson in screens um, more than we wanted, basically because we wanted to pull Jackson away from the basket. Um, so it put Bugs in actions a lot as opposed to, like, a spacer. Um, and, and she just did a really good job on the boards. I mean, I think that's the thing sometimes, you know, everyone thought she's such a great rebounder early in the season, and she is when she's got space. Um, but when she has to, like, get in these, like, physical battles at times, um, that's when her body type, you know, kind of, it's not her heart, it's not her, her want to, but sometimes her body type, you know, gets gets in the way a little bit, and people shove her around. So, um, I just thought getting off to a good start um, made her more confident, and just just challenging her to use her length. Um, that we don't ask her to 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 play the same way we would ask Caitlin to play people or or Kendra to play people. But she's got to get better. You know, kind of at how she's going to be capable of using her length. And I thought all night long, like she did a good job shot blocking. She did a good job using her length on drives and, and not letting people around her. And so um, I thought she was good at both ends of the floor. You're always going to learn something when you go on the road, I assume, against two top 25 teams. But what do you learn when you beat Bugs? That we're capable of, of beating anyone, you know, in this league. But, you know, you just you, – you have to guard against um, being complacent. You know, we, we like – I mean – Go figure. We're we're three games in, and the only team that hasn't lost a game in the league, but that can flip in a week. You know, you see what it's done in a week to put ourselves in position. It can easily flip in a week. You know, and and I think the fact that Oklahoma State beat Texas 
is going to raise everyone's antenna. No one's thinking Oklahoma State is Oklahoma State from a year ago. I mean, they're a totally different team, and and you know we're we think we can beat anyone. I also think if we don't show up and compete and we're not prepared, that we can get beat by anybody in this league. So um, proud but never satisfied, kind of that mentality that we've got to take. There's a reason why we won those two games, but if we suddenly feel like we've arrived, you know, it, it'll turn on us real quick. Give the number one scoring defense in the Big 12. How big of a role did defense play in the two wins this week? It, it, was, it was the driver. You know, I mean, it was 100% the driver. The first quarter to OU was because of defense. You know, that was the cushion right there. That was the cushion we needed. Um, I thought our defense was consistent against Kansas, tip to finish. I mean, we just rarely let them score out of their set. You know, like they, we turned it over a little early. They got in transition. We made, um, you know, we jumped out of windows and, and by that took ourselves out of plays in the full court and got them to numbers. Um, not always because of turnovers, maybe because of a questionable shot. Um, but I think when we got back and we guarded in the half court, we just didn't give them, we didn't give them anything easy. They didn't just run a play and get a flare screen three for Kirk Skeeter. They didn't just, they got one lob. Um, to Jackson all night, you know, where they, they overloaded us and, and took us away from the backside and where we, we didn't get a piece of it. And so, you know, we really did a good job of, of guarding their sets, and then it came down to them breaking off plays and making one-on-one -on -one plays. And they made some, you know, but when you take away, um, you know, the simple part of the action where you just don't give them, um, you don't mess up an assignment and they drive in and shoot a layup. Um, because we messed up some assignments against them a year ago um, that got them some easy baskets. So I thought we were really dialed in from an assignment perspective. Um, and then, I mean, to go in and beat the seventh ranked rebounding team in the country on the boards by 14, um, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal. Really confident offensively. Um, you know, it's we, we faced four of their five starters a year ago. They just – only two of them were Oklahoma State and two of them were starters at UTA. Um, so really familiar with their skill sets and what they bring. Um, I think they're really confident offensively. Um, even in their losses, they've competed at a high level. Um, Florida State, you know, was undefeated in the ACC until losing at Boston College in overtime. Um, yesterday, and, and they played a really close one even with Florida State. So um, a team that, that really stretches the floor and can shoot the three, usually at four spots, if not um, five. Not sure Collins got hurt. Not sure what her status will be for the game. Um, you know, but they really do a good job in their actions of creating great spacing. Um, they pin down. They, they set almost as many ball screens as we do, maybe a few less, but um, they're going to flow to a lot of four out, and and uh, you know, so I, I think they they think they can score, um, and they, and they scored pretty consistently against Texas, which you know we know over the years is is not the easiest thing to do. So a lot of that is spacing, confidence, and even though that it's a bunch of new players playing together, um, they're not young. You know, the players that are playing, her best player followed her from UMKC. Uh, Milton can score, Chastain can score, their seniors and, and, you know, Lexi Keys and Collins, you know, upperclassmen for, for Oklahoma State. So they, they play a lot of upper-class kids. You know, Garzon can really shoot it, um, you know, but, but got a lot of threes up at Villanova. So we were pretty familiar system-wise with her ability to shoot it. So um, a team with weapons from three. Um, that that we're going to have to do a good job of 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 closing out on shooters, but still, you know, being good in our rotations because they'll they'll put it on the bounce and get to the basket because they get y'all stretched out. Did you, when you were in the W, you still scouted the Big Twelve and looking for draft picks. Have you seen a Big Twelve that was as deep top to bottom as the one that you're coaching in week last year and this year? No, no. I mean, I mean, honestly, it's been, you know, there Texas has had good years and always talented players, always had a ton of McDonald's All-Americans. 
Um, obviously, Baylor was the class of the league without question. And, and Iowa State was Iowa State. You know, they were always going to have good players, and they were all, always going to run their stuff really, really well and have great spacing. Um, but I think, you know, when you look at, you know, you know, OU rising back up. Certainly, there there were years where they were great, um, but had tapered, and and so the way they've risen up, the way KU um, has been, you know, I mean, Kansas State, you know, without Ayoka Lee is a little bit different, um, but Gregory's leading the conference in scoring um, as a transfer from OU that was having trouble getting on the floor a year ago. So really talented players, really deep league, a lot of players. Um, you know, that stuck around and are using their COVID year. And that's part of why the league's so deep and so good. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be sad when some of those fifth-year players are gone. And I'm sure people probably feel that way about Caitlin and Jamie as well. So um, I think that's kind of what makes the league so good right now is is the depth um, and, and just the veteranness of this league. I'm not sure that's a word, but it's one I'm using today. Mm -hmm. It's been kind of an emotional couple of days. One of the teammates that I've seen has gotten close and has been going back and forth. How easy or hard is it to get players to focus on just basketball? Um, look, I think social media is a distraction um, period in 2023 and 2022. And, you know, I, I think it's, um, it's just part of our world. You know, it's... Um, you know, even when we were tweeting out that it's the first time Baylor has, in program history, has won back-to-back -back road games, um, you know, there's a lot of pushback even on that. And it's not saying that Coach Mulkey didn't win a, ton, win a ton of huge games here. Sometimes it's circumstance, you know. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure that they ever played back-to-back -back ranked teams on the road because in her heyday, you know, which was the last 15 years, they probably would have won back-to-back -back road games against top 25 teams, but sometimes that's just nature of how the schedule falls. And it's just uh, something to showcase this team and what they've done. So I think, you know, you're gonna get pushback regardless of what you post or how you post it, um, you know? I mean, believe me, last year was not easy. You know, it was not easy um, to manage, um, you know, and, and the comparisons to the past and, and you know, what our team had to deal with and what I had to deal with and, um, you know, but I, I think it's part of, it's part of the business. Um, you know, my job and, and our team's job is to support Dre, um, you know, and uh, there's a lot of ways to look at, you know, kind of what's been tweeted and, um, you know, I just, going to continue to, to, to protect my, my kids, and that's what's most important to me. Thank you.